the Bible is an idol. Now this will be a special message, living in hell. In this world today, Satan controls the whole world. Do you know you can even go pray and the devil will get in your cat, it'll get in your dog, the devil will get in your neighbor, it'll get in your mama, your daddy, your wife, your, your husband, your sisters, your brother. Them de demons, you can't, you can't escape them. The, the world is controlled by Satan. We have to war good warfare and fight a good fight. People, if you don't realize this, you can't live for God today. Satan's a spirit and he will attack you in every way he can to keep you from having Christ in you. Now, Satan don't mind if you got your God in your hand. But if you have God inside you, that means God controls you. And Satan will not let God control you. So now, remember what I'm telling you. You're living in hell right now because you're living in a world that Satan controls. You're living right now as you're living. You're you're living amongst 2 billion, 200 million Bible worshipers. You're living amongst over a billion Koran worshipers. You're living amongst a billion cow worshipers. And you're living amongst a, over a billion Buddha worshipers. You've got people that has other gods all around you. You can go pray and I mean there'll be demons just attacking. Everywhere you go, some of the saddest things I've seen in my life is Satan attacking people. They don't understand it's the devil. I was... Uh, had a little bitty church in Tennessee. A whole, I was building a Holy Ghost church, which you can't do today. And some of us were outside my house there in Tennessee. And we, I didn't have a big group, 15 or 20 regular. Sometimes we had 35, 40 people, you know, on Sunday. We had some singing or something, but it wasn't a big church. But the devil attacked it so many ways. I didn't understand Satan in them days as much as I do now. And a brother come by, you know, and he was sitting there, and I couldn't answer this man. And it's hard to answer today. Joe, he sat down there with us. We were sitting on some grass. We was talking about Jesus, three or four of us. And he looked at me very intensely. You know, it was like his gaze right at me. Like when Peter and John was going up to the gate called Beautiful, he said, look on us. Look on us. Joe said, look at me. He said, I lost my job. Okay, this is the way Satan does today. You see, he don't make a martyr out of you. He won't kill you like he did Fox and them back there in 1600s. Because he's got so many people. See, he'll attack you in your bed. He'll paralyze you in your bed. He'll throw you out of your bed. He'll do everything in the world. And you'll see, notice the people around you. They, they like they feel sorry for you. They'll be, they, what they do, your mama or daddy or sister or brother or wife or husband or something, they'll say, something's wrong with them. They've been got, caught in a, in a cult now. They believe God speaks directly to them. They've got God in them. The Holy Ghost is in them. And they'll have everybody in the community praying for you. You'll wonder why people look at you funny. You see, now listen to me what I'm telling you. I'm telling you the secrets of life today. It's a war of attrition. Satan will attack you little by little. He'll poke you with a spear so many times. It's like a, a bird pecking you to death. Do you know how many times I've moved since God told me the Bible's an island in 1970? Now that's been 44 years. I've moved about 50, 60, 70 times. That's the truth. I, they kept me on the run. I was into Canada, the room in Canada. I went to Mexico. I lived in Mexico three or four years. I've been in Brazil, Peru, all them different places because Satan chased me. Now, we have to learn to fight back. See, when, when the devil's chasing us, we can beat him. We can anoint our house. We can fight back. And sometimes the angels will come and run them demons off. But when, when our God attacks them, there ain't no help for them. I mean, he will kill them like that angel that killed Herod that cut off John the Baptist's head. When... when they, they attack you so much and all of a sudden you say, hey, you know, so-and-so went to the hospital. <laughs> See, God will recompense tribulation to them that, tr that troubles you if you will fight, if you will just fight. Now, this is something I want to tell you. What happened to Paul when he got converted? Why couldn't he find Christians? He tried, they call it a saved, he tried to, to find some Christian, but he couldn't because they was hit out. Stay low, stay hit out, because when, when we get home, is there going to be a, oh, a great multitude of people there. And it said they come through much tribulation. They come through tribulation. This is troubling times. You can, you can just be around a person that may have been an old friend of yours, and you'll see their eyes glaze over. The devil will get in them. The devil follows me around, and anybody I talk to, the devil will jump right in them. He's got all the whole world. There's hardly anybody he can't get in. He gets in Baptists, Methodists, Catholics, uh, Pentecostals, uh, Mormons, whatever, he'd get in them. I mean, they belong to him, 
and their God is outside of them. They don't understand the inside God. It's like when Satan entered Judas and betrayed Jesus Christ. Now I asked the Lord one day, I said, Lord, my face used to shine, you know, I, back when I first got converted in the early 60s. And people would tell me, said, you don't belong in this church. Said, Your face is shining. And I said, what happened, Lord? He said, I don't let the people's face shine today because Satan will mark them. And they'll come and get you and take you to a laboratory and hook you up and see what makes your face shine. So Satan, don't. Uh, he wants a way of identifying us Christians, and Jesus ain't giving it to him today. So you wonder why you think you ain't as full of the Holy Ghost. You will be. So let the angels protect you. Pray to God. Say hello because you're living in hell. You are living in hell. This is hell. There is all kinds of Wars going on all around you between Jesus and, and Satan. And this is a horrible world that you live in. You can, you can start to try to do something for Jesus. It'll be 99 ways Satan has a thought. See, if you have a little Holy Ghost church, you'll lose your job. They'll cut the tires off your car. You'll burn your house down. They'll do everything in the world. They hate you. They do not want God living in you. They hang George Fox's people. They put them in prison. Well, they don't do that to us today because... If they did, it would get notoriety. They'd say, that one's Christian. Satan don't want that. He uses a war of attrition. He fights against you all the time. I know some of the people that, that uh, takes up the cross, Satan will immediately attack them. I've seen them being doing real good, and God would be in them, all of a sudden they're gone. Because Satan has so many ways of taking your job, taking your money, taking your home, putting your children, your wife, your husband, your mother, your father against you. It's a way of attrition. He, he fights a war of attrition. You're living in hell. You are living in hell right now on this earth. You're living amongst demons. Demons control this world. I've seen them set up over these big territories and they control this world. You're living in hell. And when you're talking to a person, they're feeling you out. See, they're talking out of a Bible. You're talking out of a, uh, the Holy Ghost. See, if you have God in you and talk directly to God, then you're a Christian. But if you've got your God in your hand saying, this is the word of God, they're of the devil. And people don't, they don't, they don't mark that. They think, oh, that's just old so-and-so. He's of the devil. I can see them in their eyes. When I walk up to a person, you'll see that spirit come over them. And it comes in their eyes. Their eyes are kind of glaze over. And you'll see that devil. You can see the devil everywhere. He's everywhere. Think about this world you live in. It's full of whorehouses. The whole world's a whorehouse. Like the old harlot that sits upon many waters. They got, every, they got all the churches. They got all the people. They've got beer gardens. They've got big athletic uh, co uh, coliseums that you, in everywhere you go, it's beer and hot dogs. I mean, it's just flesh, flesh, flesh. The whole world lives after the flesh. Been living in a place, and everybody just all of a sudden just hate me. Now, why come all of them? These demons that get in them and hate you. I've had spirits of the dead, that familiar spirits that had lived there before, come back, not wanting me in their house. They are all kinds of spirits that fight against you. Now, you've got to learn to fight, take on the whole armor of God and resist these devils and, and fight against them because if you don't, ain't none of us going to make it through. You're living in hell right now. When we get home, we will be the people that came through the great tribulation because we're so outnumbered, all they have to do is shun you, push you out, get rid of you. He's got all the people. And so when Satan gets all the people, then he can do about anything he wants to to you. See, we don't have a group of people that gets together and they put us all in jail or kill us all. You see, because we're so few and we're scattered out. So stay hid, stay out, stay secret because Satan will attack you anyway. And he'll try to make you tear up a Bible. If you tear up a Bible, oh, that's the most horriblest thing in the world. If you burn Bibles or anything, they burned them. In the, in the 19th chapter of Acts, you see, so God has told me so many things about the Bible. You know that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is Old Testament. You can't get them to believe nothing. You know that King James is Queen James, but you can't get them to believe that. They just won't believe today. They're in an illusion. And this world, you're living in hell. I'm telling you what the Holy Ghost told me to tell you. You're living in hell today. Everything is hell bound. It's either a Muslim, a Baptist, a Catholic, a Buddha, or a Koran worshiper. They're, they're, the world is full of demons. It controls this world today. It don't want nobody in the Holy Ghost. So let's make the devil lose this one. Let's live for God. Let the Holy Ghost come in us. Let Christ have his way in us. And remember this. 
Watch ever, watch your dogs, your cat. The devil will jump in them like it did in them hogs. They run down into the ocean. There was 800 demons in, in him. There'll be eight or 900 demons come around us because they got so many, so many demons. The angels will come now, let me tell you. The angels will come and chase them demons, but they're busy today because there's so many demons and so few of us. So pray, get in the spirit, and say the light shines in me. My body is the temple of God. And stand in that and say the Bible's an idol. It's the mark of the beast.